when throwing the back kick, you want to make sure that that you have the foot, like the right foot, is going to come, your knee is going to come up by the other knee. Then the foot comes by the leg this way. Not, you don't want this. Because if you do that, somebody blocks it, he can kick you in the groin. So again, when you're doing the back kick, you want to make sure that your knee comes by your knee. It's like this. Here. Instead of this. Alright? If I come from behind, a lot of guys go like this. Here. Groin's open. Most, a lot, I'll say a lot, I don't say most, but I'll say a lot of the black belts that throw kicks, whether they're, they're high kicks coming back from this foot, or whether they're low kicks coming back from that foot, a lot of them will throw it, the back kick, to where they're here, and then when they come down, they have this open. So, when you throw a back kick, you want to make sure, first of all, line the man up with your back foot to begin with on the line that you're going to fire it on. And he may still be there by the time you throw it. But as I step, I'm looking at the guy, switch. Now, a lot of people say, well, keep your eyes on the guy at all times, but if you wait in a real fight, if you wait to turn your head here to th then throw the kick, real fighting situation, it might telegraph too much. So you throw it from here, up, down, and when you come around, make sure the hand's up here and here, not here. here look, because if he's blocked that and I've left this down, all he has to do, check block, move in, and hit me here. So when I throw the back kick up, I come around, coming down blocking. Now the moving and kicking. First from the front view, go on guard. Now, I'm going to do a slow motion. Turn the left foot to the side, low, snap kick, plant. Turn the back, look back over the shoulder, back kick, plant, down. Block, roundhouse kick, down. Hands up the middle. Ball foot kick in the midsection. Step over with the left foot. You go up. Now, watch this. I'm now the left foot now, so watch from the side. I'm going to step the right foot, hand up blocking, low snap kick to the leg. Hands come down the side, back kick. And you can do a back kick and let it hang there for a split second because if you back kick and you miss and you're still coming, you can always do a check. So here, down, roundhouse, and front kick, and in. What you're going to do is you're going to go side, back, roundhouse, front kick. Step over, huh? your left foot, side, back kick, roundhouse, Front kick, over, close. Kick. I'm gonna first of all, I'm gonna do it the wrong way, and I want you to see what happens when I do it the wrong way. Back kick. If I come and I go like this here and start moving out here, I want you to watch what a man can do to you if you throw the back kick the wrong way. Okay, moves right into you. You got nothing up there. He checks here. Yeah, you, he's got you. Nothing's 100%, but if you're going to do a back kick the, the correct way, a lot of times I'll do a, you need to do a back kick from moving from a front position here, or you can do a back kick moving from that position here. But, see, what I do is I bring, I bring this foot into here, and when I go, go, go back, I go with the knee coming here, so that my foot is still low, I'm still here, not out here, where I'm leaving the groin open. If you can just say, so <laughs> let's do it this way. As the man comes in at you, I'm going to aim this foot where it's going to be going here. Rather than throwing it here and wind up over here and he in the middle of you, you want to aim this back foot right here, and as he comes, you want to be here. You can be right in the groin, 
But see, it's here. Boom! And you want to snap it from there. Here's where you want to snap it from. Bam! Right there. You don't want to bring it up and then snap it. Or I can move it from the forward foot position as it comes at me. And see, I'm ducking away. I've got this here. If he wants to throw a punch at my face, I've got it here. If he wants to throw a punch at my face, I've got it here. I like to throw a punch at my face with a hand. Here. Okay? You're blocked. Bam! So when I come into this man, he, sir, moving with my head away, hand here, and going for the back kick. And next, say you have to fight three or four people with your kicks. And you can use any one of these kicks, any four, any one of these four kicks, in any different direction, depending on where your people are coming from. But the application is you got your you got your snapping kick to here. Then your back kick, then your roundhouse kick, and your front kick. That doesn't all obviously have to be on the same man. Let's say, for instance, we've got two men here. One here, we've got one over here. As he comes, I get here, as he gets it, boom! The second guy over there. Now, if there's someone here, see, I got the front kick. See what I mean? Or, if there's somebody back over here again, I got the roundhouse kick. So I can throw, it'll be yours. Wherever I'm at, I can go here, 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 wherever. Whoop! Makes no difference. Side kick, back kick, roundhouse front kick, or any order that you want it to be in, depending on where the man's coming from. See, over here. One, okay? Two, another man over here. Three, another man over here. Four, any one of those combinations. Alright, and you go on guard, right foot back, left hand coming down, it'll be a punch, hand coming side, kick. Alright, punch, hand coming side, kick. Alright, punch, the side kick. More like a fighting type position. It's going to be a punch, the hands are out here, four hand strike, punch, ball foot kick, punch, ball foot kick, punch, ball foot kick, over. Punch, kick. Blocking the hooking block. Again, you're double blocking. You're doing an open palm block. You come up with the left hand. It's a descending spear hand. Keep the thumbs in. Don't do this. If you get them hit, you'll know why. Keep it hooked in. Again, it's palm block. In other words, you just throw a punch and you just palm it to the, to the side. And call it you get the hooking block. Block, 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 block. Again, notice that I'm not doing this. I'm not letting this drift out here. A lot of styles have you doing that. That's not good to do that. 99 times out of 100 is not. There might be exceptions. But you're hooking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Take a side stance, way your side stance is you're going to turn your front foot forward just a little bit, about 45 degree angle to cover the groin area. Back foot is forward a little bit, like you're getting ready to run. So if you wanted to throw a punch at somebody, you'd run off that back foot. So here I am, I'm going to do forms of tree. It's going to be a block. Now again, I'm eliding this movement. That means I'm smoothing it out, taking the angularity out of it. So it's a jodon block, one. Closing door block, two. Get on block, three. Again, with the palm up here blocking the uh, lower midsection or the midsection area, floating rate area. So it's one, two, three. 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 The other side, the left hand, right hand's across the midsection. It's going to be one, two, three. 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 Simple block, you're doing a, first of all, open palm block to begin with, and you're in a kaikyuki position, which is a hook position, and you're blocking one and blocking two. So you can, and notice the hook here. So what you're doing, as a man throws a punch at you, hit on the guard, if he throws a punch here, you're blocking, you're hitting open palm and then hooking down, and then you're ready, you can do a ridge hand shifto to the throat, you can do a back knuckle to the side of the head, either one. 
But as he comes to throw it, I just move to the side. As he throws the punch at me, to the side, boom, behind. You can kick in the groin. <laughs> You're behind the guy. All right, let's go to the other side here. He throws a punch to the other hand. Again, I catch one too. See? It's real simple. As soon as, again, as a man makes the move, you're over here. You're not just wait. You can wait for him, but you don't have to. So it's slow motion. One, hook, two. And again, I'm shielding as I go by the man. See? You come in with the knee, you can come in with the punch. But the cut you can block is just like this. One, two. He throws a punch. One, two. Now, if he throws two punches at me, I'm here, he throws one punch, he throws a second punch. It's just that simple. And then, of course, you kick. You're not going to stand there all day and block. So if I'm standing here, he comes to punch me, I can go to the side, I can double block, get behind him, grab him, take him down for one. Doesn't make a difference which hand comes first. Why? Because I'm covering the area with both the hands. See this? This is the area. So whichever hand he throws, it'll make a difference. And I'm over here, second hand. See? There you can move and throw the other one if he wants to. And then he throw the other one. Boom, boom. See? Again, all the time. The other principle is this. This is very important. That many times, your blocking hand, just after the point that it's blocked, will become the striking hand. Or even if I'm here, and I go like this, here, see, it's very simple. Or if he comes with this hand, and I go here, boom, the blocking hand, or even if I hook here like this, he comes here, and I hook it here and pull it down here. See, the blocking hand becomes the striking hand. The forward blocking hand, obvious, that it's closer than this one, unless I'm standing straight on, in which case I'm too open. But if I'm standing sideways, and I block with this hand, boom! It's simple to move from the block pop, to the punch. All right, watch this again. Now, let's say, for instance, that, that we're standing here, okay, and I'm like this, and he throws a punch in my face, and I throw, the, I throw the hooking block here, okay? Let's go slow motion here. He throws it. See, look. This, this, this is much closer pop, than this is. And distance is time. This is much closer. Watch again. Whether it's here or again, whether he comes here, I go here. Boom! Got me going. See? Hook. Again, watch this. Whip. Down. I'm going. With the forward hand, the blocking hand became the striking hand. All right, forms of three. This is very simple. Very easy, just make a difference which hand he punches with. You're covering that area. With the forms of three, your hand's back here, ready if he wants to try to kick you in the midsection. At least you got your arm in the way up here. If he wants to get you in the rib, at least you got a fist here. If I'm like this, and he's throwing punches at me, one, two, go ahead. See? It's very simple. Whether he's throwing punches, kicks, Again, one, two, three, boom, boom, see, boom. And it's, the thing is, though, as soon as, as soon as you block, you know you're not going to stand here and block all day long, because your forms of three is one, two, just to give you some quick cover. But as soon as he starts to move in there and you go one, two, boom, 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 you know, you want to be kicking this guy <laughs> with a real simple kick. Listen, a real fighting situation. It's not the high fancy kicks that gets it. It's, it's the low kicks to the groin, to the knee, see? It's the low kicks that gets it to the groin, to the knee, not the real high kicks. All right, again, forms of three. I'm going to go slow motion. Get those punch, punch and kick, boom, and you're moving back and away. Now, another thing, unless I'm going to block and come right into him, if I'm going to fade with him on maybe one or two, I'm not, I'm not just going to stand there. See? If I was going to block once and go after him, that's one thing. 
But if I'm standing here and I'm gonna maybe block a couple times, maybe I maybe I wanna not hurt the guy very much. So I'm not sure boom, come in and just kill him. Might I might block three or four punches, moving back away from him. And if he gonna quit, then I'm gonna nail him, see? It's just a matter of the ethics of the situation. So a guy throws a one-two punch at me. One, two. Okay, and then he comes again with a kick or whatever. Boom, here, boom, see, boom. You want to stop the guy. Just get up there, kick him in the groin, whatever you got to do. <laughs> All right. got to be palm heel to the nose. You're going to keep the elbow bent just a little bit. Don't ever lock out on that elbow when you're throwing a strike because if you do, you're probably going to hurt your elbow. So you're going to strike to the nose. Snap it. Next is going to be a strike to the midsection. It's going to be snapping action. Next will be a strike to the lower gate on area. That was going to be backhand to side, hands up. Now, if you throw this and you throw it with your elbows up like this, wham, wham, a lot of times the guy just block you here and hits you in the ribs. So, what you want to do is you want to have your elbows down here a little bit so that when you throw it, you got some coverage here, and as it recoils, you still got your elbow there a little bit, and then it comes back, covering this area, not like this. But, back, hand side, snap. You're hitting with these first two knuckles. You snap. The other thing is, in Gojiru, which again means a hard, soft style, the part that's soft is the fast whipping motion. The part that's hard is right at the point of impact, whether it's a uh, strike or whether it's a kick right at the point of impact you're going to for a split second tighten up in other words I'm real loose here soft 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 like a whip and then right at the point of impact <laughs> tighten up for a split second you need to do a key eye <laughs> which tightens your midsection gives you protection here gives you power then immediately you loosen up <laughs> so it's whipping and tight for a split second Back knuckle, you can back knuckle to the ridge of the nose, you can back knuckle to the throat. Next is the ridge hand. It's going to be inside ridge hand coming right to the nose or to the throat. Alternating to be left, I mean right, and then left, snapping again. Snapping. Two men on the side, block this one, hit him, block this one, hit him, hit this one. It's real simple. Boom. Boom. One. Two. One. Two. All right. And then ridge hand to the front. And hitting the side of the head. Blocking here. Ridge hand. Block. Okay. You're going to block. Ridge hand. Block. Ridge hand. Block. You're going to, right at this last, get a little snap there. Okay. Block. Ridge hand. Don't forget to block. The ridge hand. Block. Good hand. Block. Good hand. Now for application, starting with the palm heel. Have my partner come. All right. Palm heel strike. And my guard. Okay. Say the man's coming here, you're going to throw a punch here. Block. Strike. Very simple. Into the nose or into the chin. All right. Say he's going to, he's going to lead with this hand. He's going to punch with this hand. As he comes to punch, I'll grab it up here and strike him to the jaw. Palm heel to the jaw. Block. Take him down. Strike. Palm heel to the jaw. All right, next, if you turn that away, please. Now, same man's leading with this hand. He can be leading with his hand through a punch here, or he can be stepping with his hand through a punch here. And you're going to do a palm heel. As he comes, now again, watch. When, when you're fighting, you watch the man's solar plexus. Before he hits you, don't forget, he's going to step with this foot 99 times out of 100. Then you're going to see this move or you're going to see that move, but you're watching the solar plexus. 
So as he makes his move, you're already past him. You're not waiting until he's got the punch out here. You see the foot move, shoulder move, then you start your move. And it's going to be a palm heel strike, snapping action to actually the floating rib area, which is right here. He throws the punch. To the floating rim. Again, he throws the punch. To the floating rim. And now, palm heel. Good way to do the palm heel for striking the lower area is to get the man to think that you're going to go high. In other words, which I'm going to do a ridge hand in just a moment, but you might do a ridge hand here a couple of times to get him thinking high to get him knocking away here, see? So I'm introducing you to the high-low principle. You can also reverse it. You can go the low-high principle. Okay, what is it? If I'm going to go low, I want him to think I'm going high. So I'm out here fighting him, I'm going like this. Oh, 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 bam! See? Ah! Strike to the groin. Again, slow motion. One, two, whop. Palm heel. All right, next, back hand to the side. Application. Now, let me show you what I told you before. If you throw it from here, and you let this elbow stay up, and you throw it like this, and he, he sees you, he sees you make your step, boom, bam, ha. It's easier for him to get there. But, if he will throw it like, if I will, no, I'm going to throw it now, okay? If I will throw it from here, like this, I've got it covered and I'm coming back, I've got it covered. Not this way, okay? But this way. And use the back knuckle strike to the bridge of the nose. Or back knuckle strike to the throat. Now one of the things you can do when you throw in a back knuckle strike, it's very simple. If he puts his hands up to fight you, is for you to do sweep and back knuckle. And he starts to fight you, and you're here. You're past him, and you've got your back knuckle in. It's very simple. Just a windmill. Very simple windmill. Boom. All right. Engaging the full Nelson. What you want to do is you want to drive your head back towards his hands, and as you do, you turn your palms up towards the ceiling and drive your elbows in and down, and you'll break that lock. Then you come up, you grab the fingers, as you do, you step out, you come here, and you go down, and he's down. And you can do about anything you want to from that position. But you grab the fingers from behind, you come here, you lock down, you can just lock in here, and you'll you'll lock him down. It's real simple. It's here, here, and down. All right, let's do it again. Slow motion. You put your head back, you bring your hands, your elbows in, down. You come up, you grab the hand, you step out, you catch here, grab down, and he is down. All right. The next full Nelson is a little bit more difficult. I'm going to go very slow with this one. Again, you have the same type of motion where you come down with the arms here, then you hit with your right hip in his left side. Then you step behind, you grab this leg here, you step behind with the left foot, you get locked out, you're rolling onto your leg. You got him up here, you can back knuckle here, you can elbow here. The thing that you want to do is you don't want to drop him. And the other thing you got to keep in mind that when you step behind here, you roll the man's weight onto your leg. You don't, you don't stand up like this and try to pick him up. It's too much weight on small back. But you step behind and you roll his weight over to this knee. And you back knuckle and you elbow. arm grab from behind. I'm going to do this on both sides so you get a chance to see what I'm doing with both my hands. Okay, my right hand is I'm going to slap him on the leg real hard. It's going to be a hard slap and as I slap him on the leg, I'm going to limber arm out. I turn the hand, limber arm out. Pull him by me here, back here, step back, back down, and I've got him. Okay? Now I'm going to turn it the other way. I'm going to go slow motion. She got me grabbed. Now you're going to Slap here, and as you slap, you're going to turn this hand down this way and limber arm out. You're going to step by, arm dragging by you here, place the hand at the back. Because if you don't get your hand his back, if you put up here, 
He can take you down, see? But if you put it here, go ahead and pull on me. See? Go ahead and pull on me. get me. And you got him. Okay? When you go up on the chin, anytime you go behind here and you get him out up here, you want to make sure that you get your ridge hand underneath his neck. Then you can pull that chin up. If he's got his chin tucked down, just like that, goes up automatically. Arm, man gets your right arm locked up in the bar arm. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to take your left hand, come up and grab your right hand. You bring your right foot back, you drive up, and as you do, you're going to hurt this guy's shoulder very badly. You're coming just like this, he's got you here, you reach up here, you reach up, you reach up right here, come up and wham! Alright. Alright, you start to come this way and he comes up and he locks your arm in. You come high, you lock your hand in and you swing it down here and you will flat take his shoulder out. Whap! Real simple. Up here, uh, you rip the shoulder out. Uh, this first movement, man is going to be coming at your head in a little slow motion. You're going to do a praying action. You put your hands together, you take your hand to the side. So he comes down, it'll slide right past, and you hook down, you grab it, take it away, come back and strike. All right, slow motion. As he comes down, you come up in a praying fashion. It goes right past your head here. You grab here, break, and strike. All right, again, it's a little faster. You can't let you. And strike. All right. Next is going to be the man's coming at you at a 45 degree angle. This time, as he comes at the 45 degree angle at your head, you're going to move over here just again like you're praying, and you do the same thing as you did before. But you just take, you just take the praying hands to the side. As he comes, see the reason you do the praying hands is because both hands are together, so that when you come around, so when I come around here, watch, when I come around here and catch, both hands are already there ready to do what they need to do. I don't have to do this, I don't have to do one and then take the time to come over here. That's a split second. You don't need to take that split second. Distance is time. He starts coming out your head. You're up here. Bam! Down there. Bam! Next time, man's coming at your midsection. A little change up here. This time, it's going to be with a gain on blocking action. And as he comes on the midsection, I'm right about here. I move. I step back out of the way and down and then in, take it away from him. Same kind of takeaway as I did before. As I'm standing here, start to go to the midsection. I come back behind, swept by, and take it away from me. Let's go slow motion. Go to the midsection. Sweep by, pass, down, take it away, and strike. The three moving exercises are required for Hachi Q, 8 Q, again, which means 8th learner. This one is called Closing Door Block. You're going to take it slowly at first. On guard. As he comes to throw a punch in the middle section, I'm going to close the door. Do it slowly. Again, slowly, close the door. Again, slowly, close the door, and then your counter to the solar plexus. Slowly, one, two, three, and counter, slowly. Now we're going to do it with speed and power. On guard, that's a level. By the way, you're bringing in the exercise that is required for Hachi Q, H Q. Is three point moving shuto on guard. It's going to be a punch to the jodan area, the facial mask area, and the shuto block is open handed block. You keep the thumbs in. You're going to go with the descending, what I call descending spear hand. The fingers curved in. See this? Curved in, not straight. If you hit somebody that way, you break them. And your shuto block comes this way. Keep your thumb in, not out like this. You ever get hit in the thumb, you know what I'm talking about. So you want to keep that thumb in 
Okay, he's going to throw a punch, slow motion. And I'm going to come over and block. There's the first block, second block. I'm doing double blocking. As he throws the punch, block, block. Throws the punch, block, block. And boom, counter to the collarbone. Right? Block, 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 counter. But opponents facing you here, a lot of times they'll have clothes uh, that come all the way down to do here, your sleeves. You can grab the sleeve or the clothes here. You drive downward all the way around. And when you grab somebody, you don't want to just grab at the clothes. You want to slap the body, then pull it in, curl your fingers in, and drive the man down with a body dropping action. In other words, you're not just doing it with your arm, but you're letting your body drop him. And then a shoot to the back of the neck or the collarbone. Right. Watch the application again. If you come so close to me, and you can also do your leg sweep. Again, from the sides and dots position, the application is leg sweeping from the inside. Even if he comes this way, and I come here, take him down here. Third moving exercise is kaikyuke. Your kaikyuke block, again, is double blocking, right hand coming up, blocking over with the left hand, then blocking to the inside with the left hand, and then blocking outward with the right hand. And you're hooking because you're going to hook and grab, pull and bring down. All right? On guard. Middle punch. Inch. Knee. So, shoot, oh, okay, right, okay, and kill, okay, so, all right, the application on the kaikyuke, if he's throwing a double punch at me, one, two, I'm going here, okay, if he throws, say, this punch here, and I go like this, I catch, come, and bring it around, down, ridge hand shoot toe to the throat, then shoot to the back of the neck, Bring the side to notch in and take him down to the ground. Again, with your grab and driving down. 